Good, son. Not much, not much, man. It's, it's an honor to be to be interviewing somebody that, man, I've been watching for a while now. You don't know that, but I've been watching <laughs> you, bro. That's why I asked. Talking me out here? Yeah. You Catch the vibe with Ad Bar Magazine. And today's special guest is this funny guy, Robert Jackson. Catch that vibe. I mean, you know it <laughs> <laughs> I saw you walking in the rain face. Maybe nah. <laughs> 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 nah. this water. <laughs> nah, but I want to thank everybody for vibing in the Air Bar Max Last Radio where we advertise all gifts and talents. And today we got this funny guy, Robert Jackson, man. Go ahead and introduce yeah, yourself, yeah. man. Tell them who you are, bro. All right, what's good, everybody? Yeah, so my name is Robert Jackson, uh, this funny guy, Robert Jackson. I'm uh, 31 years old, married for 12 years, been with my wife for 13, got two kids, uh, clean comedian. Uh, but I don't necessarily want to say just say clean comedian. I'm a comedian that don't cuss. So I talk about everything, though, you know what I mean? Straight up, straight up. <laughs> Man, I've been watching The first time I seen you, you did this joke, bro. Uh, but before we get into that, let's talk about what, what, where, where are you from, bro? What, what, what part of the world you from, and how it was okay, growing okay. up? You know what I'm saying? Let's get on that. What, what, where, where are you from, man? Okay, cool. So I am from Kansas City, Missouri. I was born. Uh, actually, I don't even know the hospital name, honestly. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I grew up on the east side of Kansas City, man. Uh, down in the northeast uh, district area of Kansas City, Missouri, okay. man, in the hood you know, uh, or urban areas, as we would like to say, you know. So the Swamp uh, Side area is what you're saying? The yeah, swamp? yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 you know saying, okay. where you see, uh, where you see chickens walking dogs, it's just, it's amazing, <laughs> it's, uh, it's amazing what's, what's happening down there. Chicken walking dog, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how was so, life uh, coming up, bro, was it, was it? Was it uh, rough coming up in that area? You know what I'm saying? How was it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I don't talk about this much though, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't rough for me. I just felt like it was just normal part of life. You know yeah. what I mean? I just felt like it was just you know this is how life is and stuff. And I really did not start seeing that like oh people live differently. There are people who are rich or better well well off or something like that until like I started. Getting older and started noticing how other people dress and stuff. Wow. Um, I, I, really, I really, I was like, oh well, well I guess. I guess sometimes people sometimes can't people pay bills can't and pay we ain't supposed to have lights. And it's okay. Straight up. So it became the norm. Yeah. 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 Straight up. Man. So do you think it's normal still? After you came, after you came up. Uh, no, I don't think it's normal now. I mean, I, I try my best to provide a better life for my kids and stuff. Straight up. Uh, but at the same time, if people going through things and stuff like that and they can't change their situations, that's not to say that, like, you you know, you're not doing good. You know what I mean? Right. There's certain situations right. that they're going through and, you know, uh, one day God's going to bless you to get better. I, I and, and I was saying earlier that I don't talk about this much, though, but this is how numb I got to just growing up in the Northeast area, man. Uh, I was about... 12, 13 years old, I can't remember, but there was a, a kid that came visiting from college or something like that, and I used to live over here off this uh, block called Truman Road, uh, and there's a liquor store called Robert, and I heard some shooting, me and my cousin walking, walking, shooting, we ran back inside the store, and we came out of the store after the shooting, uh, and we're walking, and we see a person there, body on the ground, and we literally were just looking like, dang. And we just kept walking. Wow. You know what I'm wow. saying? It's just so normal. We were just like, dang, boy. Like, wow. That's a dead body. Wow. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. And that, and that gentleman did pass away and stuff, but it's just like, dang, man. Like, we were just so numb to this stuff. Man. Man, that's, that, that is, that is uh, what you call a, a rough area if you're going through stuff like that, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and that probably made you a better comedian and gave you more substance to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Some more things to, to put into what you're doing. You know what I mean? But uh, how was it in the home? Was it, was, was, was it, did you have mom, dad, everybody there to support you? You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
so my mom, my mom raised me and my, and my older brother and my older sister, sister all four of us and and countless of other kids by herself uh, my mom was married a few times in the past and stuff she's married currently now which is really good and stuff but uh she's married a few times in the past and stuff those didn't work out obviously my dad uh, never was in my life uh i don't talk about it much but again it don't bother me but I know it may bother someone else who may be dealing with something like this. So right. my dad denied me to my face. You know, I was, I was wow. I can't remember how old I was. I was like five, six years old. My mom was like, there go your daddy, Bobby. And I was like, really? Really? And so I'll go over there to say hi to him. I'm like, hey, what's up? He like, who are you? And I was like, I'm Robert. He like, who are you? I'm like, I'm Veronica's son. And he was like, you ain't my son. I was like, ooh. Wow. And I walked back to her in the grocery store and stuff. And I was just kind of like, okay, okay, well, whatever. Wow, man! <laughs> so, what's drives you to to be a comedian? Uh, <laughs> all my other careers didn't work out. That's a. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Well, this is it right here." <laughs> all my other careers didn't work out. Man. man, hey, this is working <laughs> for you though, bro. That works, man. Hey, you are a funny guy. Now I'm gonna get to I this joke. It. Hey, remember when you did that joke about uh the the uh what's his name? Denzel Washington joke. And he was uh <laughs> in training day. Training day, uh, Denzel Washington for training day. That's my yeah, favorite yeah. joke you have ever done. You talking about what, uh, uh when I you talking about the one where I talked about if Denzel Washington was a pastor? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you gotta do it. Yeah, come on, come on, yeah. you gotta do it, you gotta yeah, do it. Come yeah, on, come yeah, on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, it's simply uh. <laughs> hey, yo, so Victor just texted me and said that he could hear me echoing on there. Am I echoing on your side? No, nah, it ain't echoing on my side. It's probably because the the makers are across again to them double. I don't know. Yeah, mine ain't you, mine ain't echoing. I don't know. We gonna get this joke going though. All right, so, <laughs> All right, so I said the joke is simply that like you know uh, everybody you know God can't wait for the time that you know everyone turns to Him and believe in Him and stuff. And so I said, what if Jay Z, you know, what I'm saying, well, what if Denzel Washington was a pastor? He'll have somebody like Jay Z introduce him or something like that, and he'd be like, Yo, I want everybody to stand up on their feet right now. <laughs> I want you to make some noise for your boy, Bishop. Denzel Washington. <laughs> Let's go. We praising Jehovah. <laughs> and so then Denzel Washington come up there and stuff. He's like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you should be up on your feet right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've been praying for you for 23 hours. Uh-huh. I was on lockdown. <laughs> my sinners, my sinners. <laughs> oh, bro, when I heard that, I could not stop laughing, bro. Bro, that joke there, that'll get yeah. you a long way, bro. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, dude. 